All right, I'm back working with the uh, exciter. I've just started calling it the Slayer exciter. He's probably got a name he wants to use eventually, but I'm back to this small coil today, and uh, we've been working uh, on the design of the coil. And by chance, I found out that you can use this um, ferrite rod that we used in the SEC-15 exciter project. Slayer's got one. If you're watching this, Slayer, you go ahead and try this out. You can tune this coil with that ferrite rod, just like on the SEC-15. And I'm going to move this in and out, and you're going to see these lights go higher and dimmer as this goes in and out of different frequencies. Now I've got a second tower over here, a wireless situation between the two and then the water glasses. Somebody asked about the volume of water and it does evidently make a difference. The more water you've got, you get more energy absorbed into the water. So I'll be showing that in a second. But here's the uh, LEDs on this side of the equation and you watch them go in and out of brightness as I change the frequency with this tunable inductor. And you can watch these go in and out too. That's a little uh, fluorescent tube and then uh, 27 LEDs in series. I'm running this off this cell phone charger again, uh, mainly because that red LED acts like an amp meter. And as I vary the amp draw on this, that will get brighter and dimmer. can't see it very well here in the video, but I'll show you in a minute. I'll turn this off completely. It'll go out and I'll still have the oscillator running. And um, like I say, this tunable inductor here, this thing right here, is just a piece of ferrite rod that you can get them out of an old radio tuner antenna um, or you can uh, go to Radio Shack and get these uh, take the wire off of it and just put it on a, a little stick so you don't change the capacitance with your hand and it works very good as a tunable inductor this way. This is just uh, the, basically the same way we tuned the SEC-15 3's with this ferrite rod in a coil of wire and it, it's very effective. It works quite nicely and lets you uh, adjust these frequencies where you get the big bang for the buck. Okay, now here's the water glass. I just want to show you this. There's two different water glasses and this is my little uh, tester here and you can see it goes off in that water glass and it goes off in this water glass. But it's a little dimmer in the smaller water glass. I don't know if you see that in the camera or not, but this is a little dimmer in the smaller water glass. So I thought that was very interesting. And um, you see it goes over here. It comes on over by the, the battery supply. And then I have it going off all around the primary tower. And this is the cohesion of energy, the, the um, spatial energy cohesion, SEC, that's happening here. And this is wireless between here. There's nothing connecting these two towers whatsoever. This is just space. And this is going right through space. This is wireless transmission of energy. But this is a, the last thing I wanted to show was I'm going to stop this here. Watch this. This is going to go out. And you can see the red light is out on the battery charger. But this is still running. And I discovered this by accident. Watch this. There are the lights. And even on these towers. Even though the, the um, device right there is not showing any energy going out, the light's not on and on, on at all, uh, it is supplying energy and this is actually working. I'll move this big water glass over here and show you that uh, even this water glass right here by that uh, cell phone battery charger absorbs the energy right there. And yet neither one of these towers is illuminating. Now I'll put this inductor back in here, change the frequency, and everything will come back to life again. There it goes. Same thing on the other side. As I, as I change frequencies, it goes back up. And look at the power. It's absorbing more power, too. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with people, that this uh, little uh, tunable inductor with the ferrite rod um, is, gives you a way to tune this uh, new exciter circuit. Thanks for watching.